this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. And what I think is going to be pretty much the end here. Okay, so yep, there's Golbez and Fusoya. And I guess that would be Zemus. Golbez! Fusoya! So yeah, it's going to show them on auto battle here. Golbez and Fusoya can use magic. Why can't Cecil use more? Yeah, they're not doing a ton of damage to him. The Medio, now! I'm ready. Silly. So yeah, they're both doing Medio at the same time, I guess. But yeah, that, that does a lot. This is just... the beginning. Yeah, it seems like they beat him. Guess that's kind of anticlimactic for us. Defeated him. Consumed with evil and not use his powers for good. Right on. You're here. Man. I was to get Zemus. Diesel. Cecil. Always a lot of dot dot dots in this game. What's going on with Zemus? I am the absolute dark substance. Product of Zemus's hatred. My name is Zeramus. I am the hatred. So, uh, hatred was so strong that it manifested a will of its own? It's Zemus's hatred. Zemus, or shall I say Zeramus, I'll cast you back to where you belong. Gone. Yeah, he looks a little different now. Well, I mean, I guess it's technically not Zemus anymore. Just the manifestation of his hatred. But yeah, Medio heals him. It's no use. Use the crystal. Ooh, the man of darkness using it does, does not mean anything. Me, you fools. It's kind of hard to read it when it's going so slowly there. So, yeah, his Meteo, however, is going to wipe them out. Suffer and perish. My hatred will last until I destroy all. Now it's your turn. I'm into my darkness. So everybody's still there praying. Not like they can see what's going on with us, I wouldn't think, so I don't know. Master. They are in danger. Uh-huh. Now is the time to wish for the Earth. Alum, Orum, we shall send people's wishes to Cecil. Cecil. 
show us what true courage is. They're all waiting for you. I'm back alive. For Mother Earth. Stand up. You're our last hope. Wake up, dude. Faisal and everyone. Oon. Answer our wish. Got the great Final Fantasy theme playing there. Brother. Diesel, use this. Receive the crystal. Zeramus. For all those living on the earth, I will destroy you. I guess this is supposed to represent their wishes coming through to us. Cecil, here's our power. Receive the vitality. So that brought everybody else back up to hell, or back to life. Not with much health, though. Do your best. Don't give it up. Received the energy. All right. Yeah, basically their wishes or prayers are healing us, I guess. Concentrate. Hold on to it. Received the energy. So is that going to bring Edge and Kane back, probably? I would assume. And who's going to heal Cecil? Okay, yep. So the two Lenarians. Bless him, Moon. My dear brother. That's your sacred power. Be with the crystal. There are this. It's the end. Kind of a neat background, too, with us flying through base or something, it seems like. Crystal here somewhere? Ah, okay, yeah, so it probably is going to need to be Cecil. We'll see if anybody else can do anything before we use it. Oh, he misses. Alright. What's the crystal going to do to him? Going to one-shot kill him? Kind of doubt it. It's true colors emerged. Oh so yeah, it just basically takes away his invulnerability, I think. Oh, he does change form, too. It's an ugly son of a gun. Well, I guess let's have at it. And no need, no need to hold back on anything, so I think the spoon is like the best throwing item. You shall see. Yeah, quad nine. I think if I throw out my strongest stuff against him, it probably won't take too long. But then again, yeah, I mean, he's probably still going to have some pretty strong attacks, too, so I can't take it for granted. Let's 
see how much damage that does. I might need to heal. Yeah, we might as well. Wasn't that bad, but... Stay on top of things. Okay. And it went off before Kane jumped, so he got the heal too. That's good. Next, I'll probably throw the Excalibur at him. Which normally seems kind of like a waste, I suppose, but hey, it's the last boss. What do we need it for after that? At least I'm pretty sure this is the last boss. I don't remember there being another thing. I don't think he has any other forms either. I think once we get this guy, that's it. Now will Rosa get the heal off before he kills Rydia? Okay, yep. Okay, so that's been pretty close to top damage too. Pretty nice upbeat music too. I always kind of thought virus should be a spell that also poisons us, but this poison and virus are two different things, but I don't know. That's just the way it felt to me. What about the Gungnir? Not too bad. Did more damage than the ninja, ninja stars. I don't know how long something like fast lasts. Like, Cecil's is probably already worn off, I suppose. Doesn't seem to have too much in his tank, though, here, as far as different attacks on me, so... I think it's just a matter of time here. He could have a last-ditch, like, really big attack, though, or something like that. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Not worried about it too much, though. So. Uh-oh. Ow. That was just, like, a spell, maybe? holding on to that dancing dagger for a long time. I doubt if that's going to do too much, but let's try it out. Yeah, no. His regular attack probably would have been stronger. Yeah, that was pretty close to taking Rosa out. Did that hit all of us? Probably. I kind of expected it to be worse. That did pretty well. Alright, I think we got him. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like with some of the other mechanics of some of the other boss fights, some of those guys on the way down to him were kind of tougher than he was. Yeah, 
And yeah, for the final boss, you gotta have the dramatic disintegration or fading away or whatever you call it. Breakdown. Like I said, I think I mentioned it before, in some of the other versions later on, you could actually change your party members, but in this first one, this is the party they were going to make you fight the final part with. And it's not a bad party. Like, I've tried it with the other ones, and some of the other characters, you can bring them back, like Gang or Sid. But overall, I think this is still the strongest party you can have at the end, at least as far as my consideration. Callum and Porum, maybe, I suppose, if they can use the same spells. I will not perish as long as there is eat in the hearts of people. Uh, not sure why you would have said puff. Puff seems like it would have been what the, the sound he made as he pooped away or whatever. Well done. Who you people had such power? Your people might have been further along than us Lunarians. No doubt. What's he mean, you people? Zeramus' last words. As long as there is evil in the hearts of Evil in our minds will never disappear. We all have both evil and good in our mind. Just as there are crystals of light and darkness, ground and underground. As long as the evil exists, good. Just as you've held good in your heart to fight evil. You're right, man. Hard to believe Zemus didn't use you instead. Ha! Don't worry. Goodness is my middle name. I must now return to my sleep. You? We'll go back to our planet. There are people waiting for us. I see. I have great comrades. I am looking forward to seeing you again. May I go with you? Who? Huh? I cannot go back to the Earth considering what I have done. Besides, I would like to see my father's people. Fish. Will be a very long sleep. I understand. Thanks, Cecil, for calling me brother. I know you can't forgive or forget what I've done. I caused you so much pain. Let's go now. Live in peace. Now, let us go. Yes. Cecil? It's your last chance, Cecil. Say it. Goodbye. Cecil? Goodbye, brother. So long. Cecil? Who's saying so long, Cecil? I don't know. I kind of broke it up kind of weird there, I thought. I always have some kind of an emotional moment at the end of these games, it seems like. So, a pretty nice story for the brothers there.
Because, yeah, Golbez was never truly completely evil. He was just being used. I don't know. You can't necessarily really blame him for the actions. Although, yeah, it'd be hard for people to see him and not equate him with what he had done. Or been forced to do. One to be born from a dragon. Twisting the light in the dark. Rises high up in the sky. Still land. Bailing the moon with the light of eternity brings another promise. Mother Earth with a bounty and mercy. The moon has just started to seek for its own light. Yeah. I guess the moon goes off on its own. I don't know. Can they fly that thing like a spaceship? Or <laughs> I don't know. It still has the two moons circling the Earth there, it looks like. I don't know. Gonna sink the lunar whale back where it was, I guess. Let's start today's lesson. Yes, Master. Where's Pelham? Not again. I will catch him. Catch him? Or she says there, when could die kind of fast. Looks like he's hitting on a girl in town. You know, it was then I cast ice to open Mount Ordeals. Ow. Ouch. Enough of your boasting. Elder is waiting for you. Dragging him off. How many times do I have to tell you not to skip lessons? Here's your homework. Please, no! <laughs> that serves you right. Yeah, it's automatic clear, so I don't know if I'll see everything necessarily if it's a lot of dialogue. To begin with, your highness lacks self-awareness of being the successor to the throne. Don't worry. I will not, if you stop dating girls all the time. Okay, okay. Please, do what you say for change. But I can find no girl any more beautiful than you in this world, Rydia. I don't think she's there, is he just like saying that? Yeah, he's obviously got a crush on Rydia. Your Highness? Oh yeah, she went back to the land of summons. I have not expected her to come back here. Amazing girl. Rydia. Baby monster. Why don't you have any fangs like us, Rydia? Are we different? Come on. There's nothing different between us. It will sure be fun around here. Yes, and she's beautiful. Very Leviathan. Oh, I don't know what she said there. The heart of something. Right, Cecil? There's Yang. It looks like he's the ruler. Did the king abdicate the throne? Honey? Stop calling me that. You're a queen now. But I don't like such formalities. Oops. It's time for training. I think that was supposed to be her saying she didn't like formalities. Let's go! Achoo! 
sneezing monks. So do you. I'm sure the Yang will rebuild a fabulous Fabul. And we're next. Ah, damn Santa, are they rebuilding, I guess? Where'd all these people come from? I thought everybody in the castle was pretty much dead. Maybe from Kaipo? Some of them. I think the two old people were alive there. Prince Edward! Ah, it's the kids, I guess. Let us listen to the... But let us finish today's work before that. Don't you want to rebuild our castle? Yeah, I went by pretty fast. Yes, promise! Anna. Watch me from up there, Anna. I have the people of Damsian with me. I hope Tella will keep you company. Yeah, so this is kind of a sad ending overall. His beloved is just dead still. Lally ho! Work hard! Rebuild our castle as soon as possible! What do they have to rebuild? Nothing happened to their castle, did it? I mean, maybe some damage, but it wasn't destroyed like Damsian or anything. Dang, we haven't got enough material for that! Grab the tanks! There won't be another war! Bad idea. Always gonna be another war. Especially if you're considered weak. Father, I wonder what Cecil and others are doing. I received good news. Cecil will ascend the Baronian throne with Rosa as, if, as the queen. Really? And we are invited to their ceremony. How nice. You were loafing on the job, your majesty. I don't think you get to talk to the king that way, do you? Ahem. Grab the tanks. Lally ho. I guess that's Kane without his helmet on. Actually got long blonde hair. Cecil. Rosa. Forgive my absence. I must strengthen myself to be a true dragoon before going back. Till then. Where's he at? One of the mountains. Was that Mount Hobbs? Mount Ordeals? Oh. What? The moon? I think this is what I was thinking of earlier. Earth gonna come back into yeah, back into view there. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. I guess I spoiled it a little bit, but yeah, the one moon breaks off. Wonder where they're going. And I thought so yes, said he hoped he would see them again at some point. It's going to be kind of tough to do that if they leave. Cecil? Nothing. I just... I thought I heard my brother's voice. Really? Never mind. Hey, what are you doing? They are all waiting for you. Sorry. You have plenty of time later to spend together, Rosa. 
Or shall I say, Queen? Rosa is fine. Okay, Rosa. Bride needs makeup. The maids are waiting. Hurry up. Okay. It's been a while since we last saw them. They must be coming now. Hurry, Cecil. I did hear him. He said... Goodbye. Kind of surprising that Ed, Edge is the first visitor to get there. Is he hitting on Rosa? Or why did they have to separate him? Edge just doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that would be the first one to show up for anything. Yeah, Audi twins, well, at least the one of them. City and Elder came with them. Hitting on Luca, too, huh? So, yeah, Reddy has left because Kane said he wasn't going to make it. What is Edge being bashful all of a sudden? It's actually a decently long ending. I think that's about it, though. There they are. I think it's going to be credits now. Yep. Final Fantasy 2 or 4, but yeah, this was the 2 version for the NES, or SNES. So, while the credits are going, I'm going to go ahead and start giving my review. I don't have a long review. I usually don't do too much for these games as far as... I just got down a few notes as far as things that I either liked or didn't like about the game. Um... We'll see. This is another one that's uh, fairly positive for me. Because I have a lot of nostalgia for this game, if nothing else, because I did play it a lot back in the day when I was a kid. And I think it really... It was the first in the mainline series for the SNES. I don't remember exactly which one came out first between this and Mystic Quest. I kind of think Mystic Quest did, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, it it was certainly a step up from the NES version, or the NES games one, two, and three. You could see a lot of things that they did better to improve in it. Although some of the stuff, yeah, there are a few things I would critique, and we'll get to that. But I'm going to start out with the the positives. So, as with almost all of the Final Fantasy games, I'll probably mention this for almost all of them. I love the music. The soundtrack is great. A lot of the tracks in different dungeons and just the battle theme and the chocobo themes, the Red Wings theme, it was just all amazing. I can just um, put one of these soundtracks for a lot of these older games on and just listen to it for an hour or so while I'm doing other stuff. Just that good to me. Uh, another thing, I thought a lot of the characters in this game were pretty good. I liked the interactions they had with each other. I mean, it was they're still pretty early on in doing a lot of that type of thing, so you can see if there were a few flaws here and there, but I liked the way they interacted and their stories and gave them a little bit of background to each. Some not as much as others, but overall, I think that's a positive. And going along with that, I also thought it had a pretty good story. I mean, it's pretty simple in some parts, but yeah, I mean, it's the typical... Gather the crystals, save the world, something's trying to destroy the world, or 
people and yeah and it was kind of cool that we start out being on the wrong side i mean we didn't stick in that role for too long but that was interesting uh, another thing i thought they did a pretty good job of burying the um the dungeons i thought they had a pretty good variety like as far as length some of them weren't that long, but some were, like the final dungeon. That was pretty long, but not in a bad way either. And they did a few different things with some of the dungeons that kept it kind of original. Like you had some of the typical cave dungeons and you had the mountain dungeons, but also, like in the underworld, then you had um, the Sylvan Cave and the land of, or the cave to the land of the summoned monsters. Those were unique. I mean, they had the damage floors and just a different kind of aesthetic. Like the fact that you could kind of see through the floor and see lower floors, I thought that was pretty cool. So I enjoyed the fact that they put that in there that way. And another thing for positive, it kind of kind of goes along with the characters, but I liked the way that um, you didn't exactly have job classes in this game, but the way that each character kind of was their own class, I liked the way that that fit into this game. Like, of course, yeah, you had the bard, you had the paladin. I mean, Dark Knight first, and then he became a paladin. Had the Dragoon, the White Wizard, um, the Caller slash Black Wizard, uh, the Monk, Ninja. Yeah, so pretty good that way. Sids, I mean, Engineer, I don't know if that's a class that I've seen in many other games. I'm trying to think if it's corresponding to any other type of job class that I commonly see. I don't know. But yeah, I, I still consider that positive overall. Now, for some of the things I have more of a critique of. Some of the characters really didn't get much attention, and I understand why they did it, but it kind of... Some of the characters just come and go way too quickly. And I understand they did it because I tried to like add out your roster of playable characters, and they didn't want to just give you a party where you had the option of switching in and out. Like, they got around to Final Fantasy VI, I suppose, was the one where they first really started doing that, where you could pick your party. But, yeah, so I... That kind of took away from some of the characters, especially, like, Palamon Porum. Like, they kind of tried to use the whole comic relief for them, but, yeah, they really didn't stick around too long as playable characters. Sid, I mean, his sections were pretty short, too. You had him a couple different times, I think, didn't we? But yeah, it wasn't for very long either time. And Tella. It was... I mean, they actually killed Tella off. And he was the one that was only... He was the only one that really permanently died. And yeah, they hadn't done that. Like, a lot of people think of Final Fantasy VII, like, Eris dying. As, like, a really big moment in a game. But I mean, they'd been doing that already in the series before that. It's just I don't know if a lot of people were as familiar with, like, this game. Compared to Seven, Seven getting a lot of popularity um, across the world when it came out. So another thing, and I've said this in some of the other games too, that I kind of look upon this as a negative, but some of the enemy variety in some areas was somewhat lacking, I thought. Not that there weren't enough enemies overall, there were, but certain dungeons, you run across like the same two or three enemies pretty much the whole time. That got a little monotonous. I guess a way you can kind of do that a little different is you can change up your battle techniques a little bit and try magic a little more than I do, maybe. But, yeah, I mean, it's not a... It's not like it makes the game terrible. It's just something that I say that's a critique I have. So, the last thing I wanted to mention is that I thought they had room to put more content into the game, and I mean, I know they did in later versions of it, but the underground area and the moon specifically, I felt like they could have put more, more content in there pretty easily. Because it was a pretty short game overall. I got through it in, what, less than 21 hours, I think? So, I mean, for an RPG, I consider that to be fairly short. So, yeah. They could or leave it. I still consider it a really great game. I'd probably rank it as a 7 or 8 out of 10, probably. Not my favorite Final Fantasy by any means, but it's probably pretty solidly in the middle. 
I guess I think that's fair to say. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead after this and move on to Final Fantasy V, and I'll gonna try to play the original SNES version again, I think. See if I can find a translation patch for it. And if I can't, I'll I have several different copies of it for different versions of it, so we'll get one of those out here. But I want to try to stick to the original ones as much as I can. And we'll go from there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. And if you're looking for more, please come back to the channel. We'll start off with five tomorrow. And if you have been enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. We'll catch you next time.